once took a time management class where the instructor there said you should have three things on your desk. First thing you should have on your desk are your tools. You know, computer, phone, scissors, tape, whatever you use to do your job, you should have on your desk. Second thing you should have on your desk are decorations and mementos. All right? Pictures of family and friends, awards you're particularly proud of, you know, anything that makes your workplace an attractive place for you to be. The third thing you should have on your desk is what you're currently working on. Now, how many of you, in addition to these three things, have got a pile in the upper left-hand corner of your desk? Who's got that pile? Which is matched by the pile in the upper right-hand corner of your desk, right? Who's got that one? Which is matched by the piles in the other two corners of your desk? And the row of piles in between the first two, right? Who's got all those piles in your desk? Folks, what's in those piles? Stuff. Folks, got to get rid of the piles. How are we going to get rid of the piles? We're going to get rid of the piles by following the four Ds. Piece of paper across your desk. You're going to take a look at this piece of paper. You're going to say, is it important? The answer is no. Tear it in half. Throw it away. Drop it. Get rid of it. Not important. Next piece of paper across your desk. You're going to take a look at it and say, is it important? Yes, it is. I need to work on this. But do I want to work on it right now? No, now is not the best time. I'm going to delay this until a better time. Another piece of paper across your desk. Am I the right one to work on it? No. There's somebody else in our organization that is more appropriate for this person to work on this task than me. So I will delegate it to them. Now if I can't drop it, if I can't delay it and I can't delegate it, then I'm going to do it. Now let's take this and figure out how we're going to tame the paper tiger. We've got emails, projects, ideas, memos, phone calls, actions, all of these things come into our work area. And what are we going to do with them? First piece of paper across your desk, what's the next action? I'm going to drop it, tear it in half, throw it away, discard it or shred it, it's not important, be done with it. Next piece of paper across your desk, is it important? Yes it is. I need to work on this, but not right now. I'm going to delay it until a better time. So right now, I decide when am I going to work on this thing. I choose a date and time upon which I'm going to work on this. I place the paper in my tickler file, which I will pull out whenever I need it, all right, and I'll schedule time in my calendar to perform this task. Another piece of paper crosses my desk, all right, might go back in the end basket. Because I will go through my in-basket every day from top to bottom. If we look at that piece of paper and we say, I need to work on this, but not right now, and I'm not sure when, I'm going to put it back in my in-basket. Because tomorrow I will go through my in-basket again from top to bottom. I've now delayed my decision on what to do with this for 24 hours. Next piece of paper we come to. If I'm not going to drop it, if I'm not going to delay it, I may delegate it. Let's say I'm going to delegate this to Gary. I'm going to write a little memo to Gary saying I want this done, I want it done by this date, all right, and send it off to him. But before I send it off to him, I'm going to make a copy of that memo, put it in my tickler file on the date that Gary's supposed to get that back to me on. Then I'm going to put a task in my task list that says Gary's supposed to have this done by this date. And then I send it off to him. All right. Now, if I can't drop it, delay it, or delegate it, then I'm going to do it, and it's going to stay in the middle of my desk until it's done. Now, if the task is so big that I can't get it done in one setting, I will do about a chapter's worth of work on it, work on it until I come to a point of natural transition, pack it up, set it aside in the tickler file, schedule a time to do the next chapter's worth of work on it, and then move on to the next thing. Now everything on my desk is now, has either been thrown away, it's either in the tickler file waiting to be worked on, in the in basket waiting for me to decide when I'm going to work on it, in somebody else's hands waiting to come back to me, or in the middle of my desk being worked on and there are no piles on my desk. And that's how we drop, delay, delegate and do, and we don't have things that are lost in piles forever. Yeah.